very, very good, David. Using his pelvis very nicely here, so he's allowing the seat bones to rise and fall separately. And the lower back is flexing just enough to absorb that up and down movement of the horse's back. He's in the nice ear, shoulder, hip, heel line there. Now David was very tight in his hips to start off with a few minutes ago, but he's already stretching. We have ways of stretching people. And I'm delighted to say that he's going to be able to be taught on his girlfriend's um, ex-medium level dressage horse and by one of our very good E instructors, Hannah Cowdery. So I shall look forward to seeing some updates on this, you know, I bet. So that is looking absolutely amazing. I just wish I'd got a horse here that I could put you on, that we could actually have um, given you a, a try tomorrow on a real horse, but we've just got nothing here now at all. But the fact that you've got a good schoolmaster to, to work in with, Robert, is just brilliant. Because he will learn so quickly. Keeping those toes well back. Yeah. Forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back. Very good. If we can just keep that leg from swinging forward. I know you're very, very tight in those hips, but toe back as much as you can. I'm just going to try putting his stirrups up a hole now and just see what happens. Yep. Keeping that toe as far back as you can. That's very good, David. 